efficient, competent. Well, mostly. I think everything in here is worth more than I made in my whole life. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a... a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells, he tells me he will soon. I impound his ship, he explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. What? Indeed. And you know where he is? Excelsior! Oh, and there we are. I've removed the lock on your ship in a show of my gratitude. An apprehension of this caliber will be tremendous for my career. I'll send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, only... Oh, la. Oh, no. The thing is, I needed money. A lot of money. Quickly, for reasons. I might have pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. Stray too much from the, uh, straight and narrow? and one may just find himself assigned pastoral duty in a maximum security penitentiary. To give away something so important to you, there must have been some curious reasons. I'll thank you not to question my motives, young miss. It was a mistake, and I'd like to put it behind me. It's only temporary, of course, so you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. You probably don't even know where Wells is. None of my contacts ever pan out. Law, what am I going to do now? Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, seeing as this woman isn't a member of our crew, it'd be nice if the price weren't quite so high. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill... I am extremely anguished, Captain. Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. I doubt Mr. Bedford's ever felt real pain. We could introduce him to the sort of suffering that actually constitutes extreme anguish. For the good of his understanding, of course. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Vicar. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. I'm glad we could come to an accommodation. You may inform Miss Doyle that our collections agent will be recalled. Now, is there anything else you need, or...? Can I return to my work? Be my guest. Ugh. Law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. She's doing everything she can. It's your people's fault it's not fixed, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you... Hmm... Excitable. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day. Let alone my deference. 
I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's, it's not all right exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess. Well, now that that's dealt with, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. To serve at our most esteemed Chairman's behest is an honor, and one I'm most thankful for. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the Chairman's exclusive use. I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I have few complaints. Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. Emphatically no. Unequi- Best to be clear, I believe. Oh. You've noticed my friends. Wonderful. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Hardly. And if I might be frank, I doubt the Mardettes would be much match for seasoned UDL troops. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status, and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. with us much. Why in the architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real... grouchy. Kind of all the time? I'm not grouchy. I'm just... just... irritated by inane questions. Yeah, see, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder. One more hour before the Dock Master bills me. How many beers can I down, do you think?
Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. If there's no one to pay the hitman, then I'm pretty much in the clear. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. One of the orderlies told me Jesse's out already? <laughs> you really do work fast. Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Burning to death is one of the most painful ways to go. Just in case you needed a reason to get us out of this. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Woo, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back, with the crew. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Smells kind of like old Bess's outflow pipes. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy as he is. You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. It may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. Dune Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Just take some level head for the hangover. 
and maybe don't work on anything life support related for a while. I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. I'll get back to my post. Okay. What do you think you're doing? You're free to go. Are those hibernation pods? I thought my bunk was small. You get that automatic patch? The crowd wants it up and running. get branded when they join McRed's crew. You're up to the price of cancer now that it's home with your original threat. I guess I'm honored. Hey! We got another complaint. People don't like worms in their shrooms. Aw, oh, they're just killing the soil. Besides, they're my friends. Find a new friend. Warm fixation is screwing with her bottom line. Nice one! Say we get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. More than a few, less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. I you can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. 
Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Those are pair. Frustrating. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You've got my... This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regular schedule. Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. You're... Exactly. That's what makes them fun. I'll make you one sometime, if you... Sure do. Some of it was even legal. I have a feeling we'll get along. The controls are in the back of the machinery shop there.
system alert. So take this very stick. I won't try that again. Unexpected. Begin. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Where are we headed today, Captain? The stars are the... 
limit. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart, then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I don't know where it's leading yet or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just... Couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking. Isabel? Who's. Who's Isabel? They were. close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? <sighs> maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Something on your mind?
Fancy running into you again. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Hey, that's good advice. I like the way you think, boss. Besides, not like there's a line of folks standing around hoping to get on your ship. I'm persistent, I'm eager, and I'm showing initiative. What else do you want in your crew? Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Well, this'll be interesting, huh? Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? Hey there, Captain. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's used to scented soaps and reliable plumbing. Takes a special type to adjust to life out here. Sure thing. Be seeing you. Having your usuals? Not today. I'm on the job. Never thought I'd see the day. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? I hear tell some folk down in the townships are getting offered early retirement. Well, nothing you... Okay, so, what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, no, that's just, that's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and I feel my heart shake. You remembered. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. Good choice for getting sloshed when you want to act fancy about it. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? You're funny. <sighs> yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of a serial. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I think I'm flubbing mine. I don't know what to do about... us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all.
Exactly. Takes a lot of trust to hand over that kind of blackmail material. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. It did. Oh, dear. I hadn't really... Oh, my goodness. And I told you? Let's read it right now, just to be sure. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways, made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but <sighs> I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... We get together, and she gets bored of me. Oh, there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? You're not. You're like me? Stands to reason, you being a dashing ship captain and all. Me, I just got a big wrench and a good swinging arm. So we're... we're kin-like. That makes me... well... Uh, unaccountably happy, Captain. It's a lonely thing, being different like this. So, feeling how you do... What if she really does like me and then... And then she changes her mind? What do you mean, Captain? I think I get what you're saying. That I should focus on being the best me I can and hope that's enough for her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Okay, I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. 
<laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Thank you.